they live for this. They love it. They, they love coming. They love looking at every single piece. Welcome to the Inspirational Art Association Podcast, a place where artists from around the world share what inspires them with Cindy Lattimore, an art curator and promoter who brings with her 13 years of experience. Settle in, get comfortable, and enjoy the behind the scenes exchange with not only world class artists, but up and coming talent as well. Welcome to this episode of the Inspirational Art Association podcast. And this evening we have the lovely, talented, all <laughs> the way from Queens Creek, Arizona, Naomi Brown. Hi, Hi. Naomi. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. You are. <laughs> You're a sweetheart and an inspiration, and uh, thank you for letting me. <laughs> I don't know if you how much how much you uh, uh, got trash talked to last year when I put you right next to me, but um, <laughs> my kids had a ball with you and Barry, and uh, my oh. son. Oh, my son in law is so hooked on uh, art now, and he he can't come this year from from Arizona, John. Uh, and he is, but he's trying to figure it out how he can do work, watch four kids while Telsha comes plays. But yeah. your kids are awesome, what they do to help and everything. We we love them. Yeah. I really like wrapping the paintings. I like that job. <laughs> hey, I'll pitch you close to that part. Okay, I'm in. I'll do it. Don't. I love selling them. I love uh, meeting the new artist. And I love rolling the cart to the elevators. You know, it makes me feel like I'm a. <laughs> an art curator for sure, but, uh, wrapping, I used to really wrap a lot with, and I had, uh, for Christmas, every, every box, everything had to be just all color coordinated. And then my yeah. kids were getting wise to what I was giving them. So I would number them, but I'm the only one that would know the number. And then come Christmas, <laughs> That's good. Like, what number did I get this kid, you know, but it was fun, but I'm just, but nowadays, yeah, I can get a pretty pretty bag and some uh, tissue yeah. paper, but you can't do that with fine art. So yes, you're very helpful that way. Hey, can you hire me? You can hire me. I'll wrap them all. A <laughs> big bucks in this organization. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I have to tell you something about about Naomi. She accidentally took one of our scissors from the show. No biggie, no biggie. And she sent me a brand new, how many was in that? Five or six? Yeah, it was a set of scissors. I have some nice scissors for you to use to, to wrap the art. <laughs> That's good. You can't have too many scissors. Oh, no, you can't. But anyway, let me introduce you to Naomi. For those that don't, she is known for her award-winning Southwest Landscapes. Her art has been published in magazines and is in private collections. She's gained notoriety with her classic desert paintings, and she has entered into the landscape and portrayals of Christ. And I have to tell you, um, did you know that I'm a published, I, I, I published my first novel two years ago, and no. it's from, it's about Arizona. Uh, no. <laughs> I, thought, I mean, what's the chances? I mean, I, I, there's a long story with that. And we don't have time to really? talk about me. But I don't think I ever told you that. That's one thing you don't know about me. Now you know. No, I love that. Okay, I want to hear more. <laughs> yes, it, it's fun. Everybody that has bought it and read it, where's the because there's this a three volume, and I'm still waiting for the second volume to get from here down. But um, yeah, that's so. awesome. Yes, so anyway, You're very creative. Yes, yes. So I'm a. I like my Southwest stuff. Uh, my kid, my my family calls me a lizard. I I get solar powered and with that sun. But anyway, Naomi, the very first year you were in the show, you had this this beautiful picture of Christ. It's white. You know, the, I don't know if you remember. It was a lot of white and so forth. And you said, I just don't like it. So sell it, Cindy. Well, guess who bought it? <laughs> I have an original Naomi Brown. And uh... I do remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very particular about some of my paintings. I there's, you know, I'm my worst critic, but no, I'm glad it's to a loving home. It's sitting in a loving home. <laughs> it is. And uh, yes, and I love it. But anyway, Naomi, 
what, oh, I forgot to ask you before we went on air, what's, I did not write down the name of the piece that we're going to be talking about this evening. Um, oh, um, no, no, great, I'll forget the I'm terrible at titles. I hate when I have to title stuff. I'm like, can't we just leave the title out and let yeah, it speak for itself sometimes? As long as we both know which piece we're talking about. I do. It's the the landscape. It's the landscape. Yes. And what's interesting is today, um, I kind of, um, I posted on my Instagram um, about, there's a, um, an organization here called Hope Gives Back Arizona, and it's about mental health. And I attended a benefit um, a couple weekends ago, donated a painting, and it sold for a lot of money. <laughs> like shockingly a lot of money and everything goes to um, help people to afford counseling and mental health therapy. And I think it's an amazing um, project and they just got the huntsman's involved in it to back them up. So um, I was really shocked. My painting sold for $10,000, lots of very giving people at this benefit and the Huntsman's matched it dollar for dollar. And so that's pretty amazing to be able to give back to the community of people that are struggling with suicide, with all of these things. So this is leading into this painting we're going to talk about. Um, I think I titled it, I'm gonna kill myself if I forgot. Um, Enjoy the beauty, even though your path may be broken. And, um, I painted this, it was actually in the show last year, and um, it's a, a pathway through kind of a forest, and, but it's beautiful in its own way. And behind me, I'm working on this painting that will be a pathway, and I will be bringing this to the show, and I'm painting another one, it will be an ocean with a broken path. So it'll give a variety. I'll have three pieces with the same title, and, um, and it is about even people think they're too broken and they don't enjoy the world around them. And it kind of goes hand in hand with this benefit that I've been involved with. And it's kind of really neat timing because I'm finishing these three paintings and I'm hoping that um, my publisher Haven Light will, I've talked to Scott, he wants to do print them because I think it's a really important message for people because we all enjoy the landscapes. We all enjoy a good sunrise and a sunset. And, um, and if I can capture that beauty and show that there is a broken path, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I, I think people will be able to relate to this. I'm hoping, you know, it's kind of a different subject, a different approach, but I've been really excited about it. And I have thought a lot about it and I feel like it's a really, a really neat thing to try to accomplish to get it in print so it's available for people and they can and I don't I won't just paint three I'll probably paint a handful however many I want that so and so might like the the beach landscape with the broken path that might appeal to them more so than the desert or the mountain scene so I'm having fun with it and we're going to see where it goes oh you know, it's so interesting because um, opening night, we have Alex Boyer, and he yes. is touring right now, uh, and that is his message about suicide prevention. Uh, yeah. His latest video, Bend Not Break, but he has been on a great big uh, campaign um, for that very, you know, mental health that that uh, is interesting how we're going to have artwork there and have, have him also... Uh, be part of this show so I'm, ex I'm excited to hear what he has to say and to listen to him it, yeah. it is it's a it's all around us and it's been ignored for too long and so me I love to paint Christ and do some figurative but it's not what I'm known for I'm more known for landscapes and so I'm going to shine where I know I'm comfortable and what I'm doing and have a message with it and I'm hoping it will be successful. And if not, it's okay. It'll just be nice landscapes with pathways. <laughs> but I'm excited about it. It was actually my, you know, my boss's idea, um, my manager, Mr. Brown, um, to use the same title with all of these paintings. So 
I'm excited right. to see what happens. Well, I'm excited to see him and uh, excited for you to be at the show. Thank you. I'm super excited. Yes, it's it's always fun. I mean, we we talk about how much fun it is, how uplifting it is, but yeah. it, it's hard to describe this show. And it is. That's in and around and about it. Yeah, it's something, I mean, I'm kind of out of the loop not being up in Utah, Idaho, but it's something that my family and Barry and I really look forward to. And then, you know, it's, it's a big deal. I got to drive up there and deal with snow. <laughs> Which I don't, this time I have a four wheel drive truck. Um, a couple of time, a couple years ago, I did not, and it was not fun coming home, but, um, it it's, it's something that I look forward to every year. And, and you guys are like family, everybody, all the artists, all the talent that's there. And it's, it's just a really sweet experience and I'm very grateful to be part of it. Well, I'm, I'm grateful you are too. I mean, when I um, pick, select the, uh, the artist to be in the show after all the applications that come in, I, I do give it a lot of thought and prayer and uh, see who, who would benefit and uh, who would also um, bring more inspiration to the show and who needs to be there to touch other people yeah it's so, true it's true that's very very true and uh so it's uh it's fun to see the in the other side of things after they've been in the show and and uh you know see their careers take off you know jr johansson uh great man but i don't very know very sweet man yeah. oh he is I don't remember if I've said anything in other podcasts about him, but when he contacted oh, about, oh, I want to say six years ago and asked and wanted to apply for the show, he was doing things like washing George Washington and, you know, those type of portrait type mm-hmm. artwork. But uh, at that show, he, I don't know the exact details, but he came up with the uh, feeling that he needed to paint uh, missionaries who had passed away during the um, time they were serving and it has um, exploded you know well because he's able to do that and free of charge give it to the families from all over the world as soon as he knows of a a a missionary passing away and you know at the time when he applied for the show little we know that that's the direction that he would go and he owes it all to the show of how it opened that up and helped his own health you know, so you never know. No, you never know. No, I've been inspired certain things, especially last year, because I kind of felt lost. I felt like I didn't have enough pieces. My art career had taken off down here in the Southwest Western world. And it was, it's been this crazy town. And, but I, I still I'm like, I'm going to the show. I hope I get in. I want to be there because I love the feeling. I love the people, but um, yeah, you never know. And he is a, such a sweet man and he he's really doing a service to people he touches everybody's hearts mine and the portraits he's doing the fam- that you know doing for the families yes yes very special but uh the years that you've have come is there any type of experience that has um really touched you uh that you've you've either experienced or you have seen at the show well, that was probably, I'll oh, be, that's hard. I mean, little things here and there, but last year, I, I think, I, I think I talked to you about it. I don't know. Um, cause I kind of felt like a loser cause I didn't have all my work and I only had a few pieces and, um, there's two things. Um, you'll remember the little, the little old couple that always comes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The opportunity. I, I get emotional every time I see them walk in because <laughs> they live for this. They love it. They, they love coming. They love looking at every single piece. And I had the opportunity to give them one of my little miniatures and her eyes were just beaming and so excited to have a little, it's just a little one, but that was a very sweet experience. Cause I remembered her from the first time I went my first year and then the opportunity to talk to Scott Sumner about um, doing 
where my heart is, it's in landscapes more so. And um, going down that avenue and maybe eventually trying to get into the temple. So that was a really sweet experience. And I've never talked to him before, but it was a really, really cool experience to talk to him. He's a giant of a man. He's uh, yeah. Yes. So close to the spirit. It's just, uh, it was a really neat experience. Not expected because I was a little down. I mean, I love coming and, but I just felt like I failed myself, but, but there was a real purpose in coming last year because of Scott and, and he really helped. And then, you know, having fun with you guys, that was great. Being at the <laughs> store. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about the just... art? <laughs> but... Yes, it was. Well, I'm glad you, if you felt like you didn't have enough, which I, I was perfectly happy with, but it was nice being able to have you come and help me with the store uh, when Tisha or my kids took off and and spent time at the mall. And (laughs) now we get to know you. That was a lot of fun. So last year was amazing. And to me, it was probably my favorite. The first year was rough. I had blood clots and I didn't know. I remember that. Oh, very sick, but it was such a thrill. And I'm like, so like nervous and honored to even be accepted into the show my first year. And, you know, er every year brings something, but last year you, you had your issues, but the show must go on. And I thought it was great. You did a great job. (laughs) It was a learning experience for me as far as, um, and I try not to put the I it's yeah. me, and uh, I think I shared with you that I was a little disappointed about some of that took place opening night, but because I put I in it instead of we, that I, I it was a learning experience. Yeah, and, uh, and now I look back at like it, it, it went fine, and and since then I've talked to some people about what happened opening night, and they go, "We you covered it beautifully. We didn't even you know did. you did. You <laughs> did. I felt for you like one time I wanted." To- jump up there and like save you or do something but you did a great job you did an amazing job and that is very I would have died it's very stressful (laughs) you did a good well thank you it it all worked out and um you know I know that I can be less stranded on a stage for 45 minutes with no preparation (laughs) at all (laughs) Yeah, you show must go on. You're a great entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Well, I'm so excited. Uh, just gosh, a few short weeks. Yeah, the thirtieth opening night, and uh, it's uh, RSVP. Uh, the deadline is just around the corner, so we always are sold out that evening. But Tuesday, no, excuse me, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, December first through the third, from ten to nine, open to the public. Come and enjoy, and that sweet couple with their their adult daughter that comes with them is just. Yes. I know what you mean. It's not the same, and you know, for years I thought they just lived close by, but no, I did not realize they lived far enough away that they had to use the the um, is it the tracks? The tra- the, yeah. yeah. So just to get there, yeah. and and they do they they take that seriously. <laughs> Either. They do. They're such a dear couple. I remember, I think the second year he had the catalog and he was making a beeline for one of the paintings that was in there. And I, I don't think I had it at the show. And I know he was very disappointed. <laughs> he was, he's a dear old man, sweet family. Yes, very. And that's what the show's about is to touch, touch those that, uh, you know, they look so forward to this. It's a, it's a, um, a much anticipated event. Uh, cause nobody knows what I'm going to come up with every year. <laughs> yeah, you, you do amazing. You pull, you pull, you pull it off every year, something fresh and new and amazing. Well, thank you. Well, I sure appreciate it. You and your friendship and you and Barry are just part of the family and we just, uh, think the world of you. So we, um, we think the world of you and Mark, thank you very much. Well, well, thank you. And we will be uh, hanging out in a few weeks. And uh, okay. I'm, excited. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know if you need anything from Arizona. <laughs> Warmth, because it's snowing outside right now. It's uh, oh, yucky. It's yucky. 20 <laughs> some odd degrees last time I looked at my phone. So I'm here with my fireplace in my office. And uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was probably 80 today. Not to rub it in. 70, 79, 80 ish. 
Well, okay. well, come and see me if you get too cold. <laughs> oh, I will. I promise you I will. Okay. Okay. Uh, see you soon, Cindy. Okay. Bye-bye.